for a walk, I'm a armor kid. Chopping your sword, cause the time is near. Gotta do it big like Bon Fair. I'm a rock star on a chandelier. Off the walls, yeah, I'm about to go crazy. Yeah. For the beast, anybody that can take me. Swatches of what I consider to be my best matching concealers. And this is for. This is gonna sound really stupid. But this is for my concealing concealers, not my highlighting or contouring concealers. Okay, so this one is my favorite. This is the AOA Wonder Cover in the shade Coco. Okay, um, my face is still kind of shiny, but not. This is because I took off the mask, did my toner, and now I've got my grapeseed oil settling in before I prime and do my makeup today. We have ColourPop Deep Dark 56. Remember, these are my best concealing shades for like spots my face, not for highlighting, not for contouring. Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade C15. See, it's like not as dark as the foundation. I don't know, but it works. I can't remember if this one was one of my best matches because I haven't worn it in a while. This is the Ulta Full Coverage Liquid Concealer in the shade Dark Neutral. That's good for concealing the lighter parts of my face that aren't super light. It's not light enough to highlight with. This is the Ulta Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Dark Cool. I think this is a little bit too dark, but I can mix these two that I have, that one and this one, and get a pretty decent match. There's like nothing in between. Oh, and I also have their Youthful Glow Concealer in the shade Dark Cool. I just have another section of other concealers. I keep my concealers separated from other things. Well, from each other, they're in like little categories. So I guess these are the ones that didn't really do it for me. So those can go bye-bye. Okay, so really those are my only good complexion matching concealers. Got the AOA Wonder Cover in the shade Coco, ColourPop Deep Dark 56, Conceal and Define, C15 and this dark neutral from Ulta Beauty. I have lots of other concealers, but they're not as good of matches. Like this is the AOA Wonder Cover in the shade Suede. It's just a little light. It's more like my nose color than my face color. And then the NYX Gotcha Covered in the shade Ebony. I can't remember if this one was too dark or not. No, that one's pretty decent too. I think there's something about the texture of this one that I didn't like. There's something about it. I mean, I like it, but I like my other ones better. This probably makes no sense, but up here where I keep my main foundations, this thing is dirty, but my main foundations are in here, and then my main concealers for actually concealing are in the front of that. And then I keep my concealers for highlighting in here, which I said I'll share those too. Okay, I'm gonna let my chest rest for just a moment because it's obviously being mistreated. Well, now my cat's up here on the arm of the couch, which is where I had some of my other stuff. Okay, while I'm letting my chest get a little less red, I'm gonna put on this ultra smoothing matte primer from Magic Collection. I hope my cat's ear isn't blocking the camera. So these are gonna be my best highlighting concealers. I like to keep my highlighting shades the color of my chest or sometimes a little bit lighter. The reason why I sometimes do a little bit lighter is because when I mix it in with my foundation, it'll end up being the color of my chest. So this is ColourPop Deep Dark 50. I know, I'm gonna clue this one in there because I don't know, it's all right. This is the Fenty Conceal in the shade 445. It's not really too sure. I also didn't buy it for a highlighter though, I bought it for concealer just didn't end up working out that way. It's lighter than I thought it was gonna be. This is the AOA Wonder Cover in the shade Warm Sand. 
I know it looks light, but you know, I mix it and I also powder over everything anyway, just like I do with my blush. And speaking of warm sand, one of my other favorites. Okay, well, I guess I used up my last one, so now I gotta open the, my spare. This is the LA Girl Broken Seal. It's also in the shade Warm Sand. And I really love this one. I like everything about it, except I cannot use it on my forehead because it does something weird with the powder only on my forehead when I use it to highlight up there. So when I use this one to highlight, I stop like here. I also use this AOA Wonder Cover in the shade Espresso. Usually when I'm highlighting with um, the Wonder Cover, this is the one I use, not this one. And these are my other two. This is the Conceal and Define in the shade C13.5. If I want a subtle highlight, I use this one. It's going to look pretty much my chest color. And if I want more highlight, I use this one, which is C12. I really like that one. I just have to make sure I blend properly. Those are my best highlighting concealer shades. So we have ColourPop. Deep Dark 50. It's got like way out of order here. I thought I had everything lined up, but the two was kind of rolled up on each other on the couch, so I can't remember which ones are which now, except for I know these two are Warm Sand. This one is the AOA Wonder Cover. And that's the LA Girl. This one was Fenty. Whatever. I know I got my Conceal and Defines over there. But anyway, so those are all of my swatches for all of my best colors for highlighting. This probably won't help much for shade references, but. I'm going to share my best color correcting shades. My absolute favorite is this Master Camo by Maybelline, the shade red. This is the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Concealer in the shade. I thought it said on here what shade this is. It said it's number 123. It had a name on here too at some point. I don't know where it went. This is another one that I bought as a concealer, but because of its undertone, I'm using it as a color corrector. This is the AOA Wonder Cover in the shade Orange. This is the Conceal and Define. This is not one of their color correcting shades, but this is what I use it as in the shade C16. Doesn't show up next to these ones as much, but it is really red. This is the e.l.f. color correcting stick in the shade. It just says correct dark circles, deep skin tones. I mean, obviously it's like orange or peach. I don't know which one they're calling it though. And this is the Becca backlight targeted color corrector in the shade Papaya. I don't use this one as much just because it's harder to set. I can use that one for like under my eyes. It just doesn't really do well on my nose. And I thought I had one more. Oh, here it is. This is the Cover Effects Correct Click in the shade of Brick. So those are my best color correcting color correctors. I do have other ones that I use for other reasons, you know, greens and violets and whatnot. And as for contour shades, I don't, I don't really have, I'm not really too picky about what I use. I just use whatever, as long as it's dark, including the, um, for years I used the NYX eyeshadow pencil in the shade Black Bean. So I don't feel there's any necess necessity in showing my contour shades. I mean, if I was a lot darker, I would, just so people would have a reference of what's dark enough, but I, I've always been able to find something to contour with, even if it's not made for contouring. My problems are usually trying to find a good color corrector, a good concealer, a good foundation that matches. So there's that. Now I'm actually going to do my makeup for real. It's using some grapeseed oil. I'm pulling that up. It should just get changed, but I'm always getting up and I'm lazy. Oh shoot, I found another. This is another foundation that works pretty well. This is the 
RCMA Color Process Foundation in the shade MB7. And this is a foundation, not a concealer. So this is, you know, more for matching my face. Even though I can use it for, what's that called? Concealing too, if I set it right with powder. I don't have a shade that matches me in Anastasia Beverly Hills for foundation, but I do use their foundation stick in the shade Walnut to highlight. And since they're kind of expensive, so I'm using it all the way down. But this is the shade Walnut. And it's close, but it's just a little bit too bright to use on my whole face. So I usually use this as either a highlighter or a color corrector. And today I'm just throwing it on under my eyes, I guess. Kind of like a highlight. Still gonna use regular highlight later, but since I had it out, why not? I also have their Earth Foundation Stick, which I've used as contour. Maybe I'll use that for contour today, just to show how that works. It's just a little bit too much to try to use on my whole face because the color is too intense.